Look at all these glorious sweatshop finds. Number one grandma. You should get that one. Best mom ever. Yeah, so this is what you do when you're really bored in a suburb. I actually really like that dress. Hold to it. It's only $9, Amy, and it's a small. It says size 4, 6, though, and we are like size 0, 2. Yeah. You would never wear that, though. Let's be real. Let's move on. Let's go to the craft section. <laughs> so they have all kinds of stuff. Um, they try to make it hip and cool like this, for example. Classic Walmart shit. <laughs> People are gonna wonder what the fuck I'm doing. That's why you do this, like, late at night, not at, like, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> it's like... I don't want to, like, expose... All of the people that shop here and work here and pretty much live here. I like I sometimes I feel like I live here. I used to like never come here because I like hate all aspects of this place, but like then I had to cave in, you know? Cause I'll live in a suburb. Oh you guys, a must-have tank. I can see why. The colors. Patterns. The fabric's nice too, man. Yeah. No, I do not need to have that. I really don't. You lie, Walmart. You lie. Really like tank tops, though. See, why would anybody want? have anything that represents Tennessee. Fuck that shit. Walmart has an entire section to like Tennessee related stuff and also Christian related stuff. I just saw a shirt that said blessed girl. I'm not gonna zoom in on it. It just makes me so mad. <laughs> okay, where are we going? Where are we going? It's a really good question, Amy. Why are we here? Because you know you're just gonna buy more shit that you don't need. Shit that you probably already have. But you have some other version of, you know. So now I'm in the baby shoe section looking like a fucking petter ass. <laughs> that would be really funny if you didn't have a fetish for children, you just have a fetish for like children's shoes. <laughs> Why are we here? What are we doing? What is this? What is all this shit? Calm down, bitch. You ate part of the cookie too. I don't know why you're hollering. You know why. Just end up buying all kinds of crap. You do this all the time. Okay, okay, we're moving on. We're gonna go to the Christmas light section. Dude, you should get some incense. You actually need incense, and that stuff is cheap. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Can you guys hear that awesome song that's playing in the background? It's like a 70s hit. Whenever you want me, I'll be there. Whenever you need me, I'll be there. But you know that song. You guys know it? 
Incense is not this way. I don't know where incense is. But there was like this bitch that was in the aisle, so it's like I didn't want to go in that aisle. You're just gonna end up wandering around aimlessly like you always do. <laughs> Wait, in here? That would make sense, because candles. I tell myself. Candles are the solution to my every problem. At one point, I tried to be a witch. You'll ever have that phase where you're like, I think I'm a witch. And then, <laughs> and then like, I realized that that was stupid. See, I, I tell myself I need shit like this. Or that. That is kind of cute, though. No. <laughs> I'd, I think I'd... I think I'd rather just have a real dog. That would be a lot cooler. <laughs> there was a bitch in that section. <laughs> she she's not a bitch though. I mean, it's not fair to say that. Restaurant talk, you guys. Everyone's a bitch. I don't mean it like that. I mean it European way. over here. I don't even think it's Oh, it is. It fucking is. Maybe if we come and... Yeah, let, let's, let's go the other direction. And just get what we need and, like, skedaddle immediately. <laughs> you know, so we don't have to have any contact. One another lampshade. Look at these lamps, you guys. Not these. These are lame. Oh, I like that one. Twenty-one seventy-seven. Because it was made of a sweatshop. <sighs> Would have been like twenty-three dollars. Dude, I really like that color. You know you don't need this, right? <laughs> like, oh my god. That would be... Does that look good? Does that look silly? Y'all, they're playing Madonna. You must be my lucky star. Cause you make the darkness seem so far. That's nice. Oh my god, put it back right now. I always want to get another clock. Oh my god, I like that one. I really like that color. The thing is what I end up doing with my clocks, always. Turn them off and just set them to 420 permanently. So it's always 420 at my house. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. Vintage.
That's good. That is good. <laughs> good job. Good job. <laughs> freaked out the girl. Oh, uh, she she wasn't that freaked out. I don't think she was freaked out by the camera. I think she was freaked out by the fact that you were just talking to yourself. Like, openly in front of somebody else. <laughs> Sensual therapy. Yeah, I know my camera work is bad. You don't have to say anything, all right? It's probably making you want to puke. Well, not want to puke, nobody wants to puke. Strawberry, Frisa. Do y'all see that? I don't know why you'd want like strawberry incense. It sounds gross. What's this one? Lur. We need to go to the porn shop. I don't know why, but they have like the best incense at porn shops. You should know why, it's sensual. Incense is sensual. I always wanna get Nag Champa. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right and I don't care. See, I'll tell myself I need shit like that too. With bed. A smoking tree. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> That's amusing to me for other reasons. Yeah, but I bought this one. It's at the crib. So I'm kind of tempted to buy these. Put them up. Oh my god, what is that? Try me. Okay. You're lame. <gasps> wait, wait. Why the fuck? Anyway. If you could just do that yourself, why would you buy it from a place like Walmart? They don't you want that? I thought you were supposed to be discouraging me. Touch and sound sensitive. I really want a lava lamp. I've always wanted a lava lamp, like since I was a child. It has been like a dream of mine. Eventually I will get a lava lamp. Which one are you gonna get? I don't want that one, because it's all hippied out. But that one's like expensive. That one's like 20, $20. Oh my god, Doctor My Eyes. They're playing one of my favorite songs. I've been for so long. Um, I have this one, if you guys didn't recognize that. Spinning around in my bathroom. Okay, let's go. Do you really need this much incense? Well, for as much as I go through it, why the hell not? Yeah, this is a really good fucking song. Okay. Christmas lights, right? People are probably gonna think that I'm stealing shit because I got this bag. Nope. Caught me 10 years ago, fuck yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Probably shouldn't tell this story here. <laughs> With all the Walmart employees standing around. I don't think they would care. Amy, they probably hate their jobs. Probably hate this place. 
Yeah, but it's still their job, you know? Okay. Whoa, wait, wait. Here we go. Nobody's in the aisle. That's good. That's why I used to steal from Walmart all the time. <laughs> that was like one of my favorite things to do. My college roommate, she and I did that a lot. She'd be like, hey man, you bored? Let's go to Walmart. <laughs> and it wasn't the Walmart back then. Shit, we gotta go. We gotta go. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> Do the K-I-M. Keep it moving, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Oh shit, somebody's here too. We gotta go, we gotta go. I think that they moved the Christmas lights. Yes. This, there we go. This would have been the aisle that we did the most stealing. Because <laughs> it is so easy to steal makeup, you guys. Just, this is what you do. I'm not gonna actually do it, but just, there you go. I actually already have this. But see, all I had to do, just do this number, just push it up my sleeve. That's it. <laughs> See, if you're really smart, and you're used to stealing, you know that you can put shit in your socks, your underwear, not just your pockets. That's funny to me. <laughs> you just steal shit that you can put in your pockets? <laughs> Lame. But yeah, like, you can steal a shit ton of makeup. You might as well, too, because, like, this place is evil, so if you're going to steal, do it here. Uh, but I just can't get away with stealing anymore. Stealing for me is like drinking, like, it just, I can feel totally justified and I can tell myself that I'm a badass and all this shit, but it's just a way for me to lie to myself. Ugh. So, even though a sweatshop, I can't rationalize it, because it's still dishonest, you know? And I pride myself on being super honest. I can't really be honest with people here. Well, that would be really cool if I could just be like, hey, man. Maybelline's getting a little too high. You think I could just yoink it? <laughs> you know you hate your job. You know you want to help me save those poor sweatshop kids. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> this was a good idea to film. Yeah. Fun. I, I, go, I go to Walmart. I go to the Walmart on my days off, and I talk about how I used to steal shit. <laughs>